Catalytic converters lead the rough, nitty-gritty jobs in the dirty underbelly of a vehicle. And when it comes to harvesting and computing a value for them, most recyclers end up with vastly different values, even for units with identical serial numbers. But why is that? Tune in to PMR's Converter Life Journey to understand why prices can vary so much. Here are two AGM2 Honda converters, two units with identical serial numbers. Orange, we'll call him, was manufactured to be installed in a vehicle sold in the state of sunny, warm California, where emission standards are rigorous, which means PGM concentration within the ceramic of this converter is high. Miss Blue, let's call her, was manufactured for a vehicle sold in North Dakota, where emission standards are lower and the harsh winter means cars run longer. We all know that converters of the same serial number can go on different cars, so right off the bat, converters are bound to lead vastly different lives. Miss Blue was installed in a vehicle that was then sold to a driver who doesn't drive as much but needs a car to travel to certain areas around their neighborhood. But with the tempestuous winters of North Dakota, the car that Miss Blue inhabits runs for long periods of time, goes through muddy streets, and receives a backlash of salt slush whenever the roads are icy. And sadly, during a speedy run to the pharmacy, Miss Blue's car hit a rather shocking pothole, watching as dustings of ceramic fell to the cement below. However, Miss Blue's vehicle owner is a diligent garage visitor. She takes great care in ensuring maintenance is regularly made on the entire car. On the other hand, Orange is living it up. He's been installed on a vehicle whose owner is taking him out for a spin every weekend. Long drives to remote hiking spots, beaches, or any sports games for the kids. But with the kids and the dentist appointments this year, Orange's vehicle hasn't been to the garage for any maintenance. While Miss Blue over here is slowly gaining mileage, Orange's vehicle changes ownership to a brave young man with the world at his fingertips, who takes the car on a cross-country trip. Orange has yet to see a garage to this day. Miss Blue, however, is suffering the roads of winter and long run times, while Orange is gaining quite the mileage record and accumulating the dust, dirt, and mud from all 50 states. Orange is switching ownership regularly, gaining mileage, car usage, and collecting as much dirt and grime. But at least he's seen the entire country and the garage more than once this year. And when it comes to the end of the road for these vehicles, they end up at the same junkyard in the state of North Dakota. Miss Blue has been dismantled with the utmost care, because the recycling yard employees harvesting her knew that proper dismantling means conserving PGM loadings. Orange, though, was dismantled by an employee in training, and sadly he received an awkward cut to his core, causing a loss of ceramic. So when these two converters of the same serial number end up in the hands of a recycler, he thinks to himself, here are two units with the exact same value. But that is certainly not the case. To better understand why, Joe's junkyard owner gives PMR a call. Through attentive consultation and years of experience, his PMR representative illustrates why Orange and Miss Blue, although they have identical serial numbers, will have varying prices. Converters can vary in value according to emission standards of the state in which the converter was manufactured to be sold in, vehicle maintenance, converter dismantling and overall treatment, and vehicle mileage. Together, they look at Orange's and Miss Blue's life cycle. Orange has 300,000 miles. However, he was installed in a car sold in California, and with the state's high emission standards, the precious metal loadings in Orange had a greater concentration to begin with than Miss Blue. Because Miss Blue was manufactured for a car sold in North Dakota, where emission standards are looser than in California, her PGM loadings were lower. In addition, with the intense winters, it's safe to assume the vehicle ran for long periods of time for heating purposes. But remember, the lives that these converters have lived will cause even greater differences in value when the material is eventually sent to assay. For example, Orange rarely saw the garage for maintenance and has suffered through many weather conditions on his travels. Miss Blue was a regular face at the corner garage, but she suffered quite a hit with that pothole, resulting in loss of ceramic. Because there are so many factors that affect the value of a converter, 
the PMR representative notes that there is no better way to know the true value than individual assay. So the recycler decides to ship a converter load to PMR with identifier tags for orange and miss blue so that PMR can individually analyze the two. With the assay done on orange and miss blue, the results are shared with the recycler through PMR's master catalog, and he notes the vast difference in value between the two. When he calls his PMR representative, he's made aware that if he were to check back on these catalog numbers in the master catalog to reference their values once more, he may see they are not the same, because prices will fluctuate according to the precious metal market prices. Satisfied with the true value of his material, the recycler is better informed on the aspects to take in consideration when determining converter value. He now has the knowledge and tools to better understand his converter operations, and for any future endeavors with converters with the same serial number, he'll know to expect varying values. In all, the prices you see on grading sheets or price lists are averages based on assayed converters of the same serial number or grading categories. However, the converter you hold in your hand at this very moment did not live the same life as the converters tested on that list. The only way to access the true value of any given converter unit is by assaying and analyzing that specific unit. Working with a processor who samples your entire load and puts it through technological analysis means getting the true returns on your catalyst material. A converter's worth is not about the destination, or even where it began. It's about the journey and the miles they made along the way.